In this example, a barge leaves the dock heading away at three miles an hour. So this is the dock over here. We'll draw some boards here. It's made out of wood. And this is the barge. And you're told, and you see in the picture here, that the barge is moving away at three miles per hour. At the same time, a man on the barge walks at two miles per hour relative to the barge. So that's how fast he's moving across the top of the barge. What is the man's speed relative to the dock? And you can probably see that the answer is five miles per hour. If he were just sitting still on the barge, he would be moving with the barge at the speed of the barge, three miles per hour. But because he's walking as well relative to the barge, he gets this extra two miles per hour in the same direction. So he's moving at five miles per hour away from the dock. And this next example is similar, except the man is walking in the other direction. Again, we have the barge moving away from the dock at three miles per hour, and the man's walking at two miles per hour, but this time he's walking back toward the dock. So to solve this, we need to take both of these speeds into account, but we also have to take the direction into account. Again, think of it this way. If he were sitting still on the barge, he would be moving relative to the dock at the same speed the barge is moving, three miles per hour and that would be three miles per hour in this direction away from the dock but now he's walking two miles per hour back toward the dock across the top of the barge so that two miles per hour to the left cancels out two of the three miles per hour to the right so he ends up moving with a net speed an overall speed of one mile per hour relative to the dock relative to the dock he's still moving away one mile per hour to the right or one mile per hour away from the dock. Here we're told that a boat is traveling along a river and the river is flowing south at four meters per second and the boat, it, the boat is moving south at a speed of 12 meters per second relative to the water. We're told to draw a diagram to illustrate this situation so let's draw the river So there's some water flowing, and we're told that it's moving at 4 meters per second to the south. I'll typically draw south down. It's kind of like we typically do on a map. If you ever look at a map, you probably know that typically north is to the top and south is to the bottom, and east is right and west is left. So when we're told that it's moving, the, the river is flowing south, we'll do it that way, south. So there you have it. The river's moving and um, I should write a 4 there. That's at 4 meters per second. Then we're told that the boat is moving at a speed of 12 meters per second relative to the water and we're also told that the boat's going south so we need to draw it heading in the same direction. So here's the boat and I'll put some numbers here. 12 meters per second. So there's our picture illustrating the situation and a picture often helps us think it through. In this case you should be able to see that the river is moving to the south and the boat is moving with the river. You can think of the, the current in the river as giving the boat a little bit of extra speed. The combined speed relative to the ground is going to take into account the speed of the boat and the river and it'll be 12 plus 4 that will give us 16 and both of those numbers are in meters per second and so is our answer. 16 meters per second is the answer. In other words, if you're standing here on the land or just sitting here watching the boat go by, relative to you, you see him going past at 16 meters per second. If the boat turned off its engine and were just sitting there, it would just drift with the current and it would drift past at 4 meters per second. But because it's moving at 12 meters per second relative to the water, it has that extra 12 meters per second of speed in addition to the 4 meters per second provided by the current. So we add those two together to get 16 meters per second for our answer. This example is similar except that the direction is reversed. The river is flowing at 4 meters per second to the south, so we'll draw that again. Here's our river four meters per second 
and this time we're told the boat is moving north at a speed of 12 meters per second relative to the water. So here's our boat and it's moving at 12 meters per second to the north. So draw a diagram to illustrate the situation. We just did that. And then we're told what is we're told to find the speed of the boat relative to the land. Well again, imagine sitting here on the land. So there you are, relaxing, watching the boats go by. Think about this boat on still water. Imagine if there were no current, if it was just a lake. Well, the boat would be going by at 12 meters per second. But because the water itself is moving to the south at 4 meters per second, that tends to pull the boat in that direction. So instead of moving at 12 meters per second, he only ends up moving at 8 meters per second. 12 minus 4 gives us the 8 meters per second. And a really good way to think about this is to think of one of these directions as positive and one of these directions as negative. We can think of north as positive and south as negative. And so we have a, a positive 12, and we see that right there, and we have a negative 4, and we see that right there. And the combined positive 12 and negative 4 gives us a positive 8 meters per second.